So what's up guys, so welcome back, this is my boy Gadam Slink, and you know, day now, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from, I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Me, myself, I've been sleeping, sleeping and sleeping and relaxing myself, relaxing, relaxing, relaxing. But firstly, uh, there is a need for you to know how to deceive your enemies. Yes, so there is a need for you to know how to deceive your enemy. Uh, you can show to the world. That see, I am broke, but meanwhile, inside there, uh, you are okay. And meanwhile, there is this young man apartment, apartment that recently went viral online. Mm -hmm. At, see, just check out the, the video. The video speaks for itself. The video is motivation uh, enough. The video itself is motivation enough. The video itself will teach you sense. Yeah, now, nah, what the FCC one could do for like this kind of place? What the FCC one can't do for like this kind of place? What the arm robbers one can't do for like this kind of place? Eh, hey, what the arm robbers one can't do for like this kind of place? Yeah, for job, you go to achieve you go to achieve no single thing. There are people who will be, who will go to a, uh, to an environment, eh? They want to show off. They say that they be your do go everything. Relax, relax, relax. Eh? This this video is motivation enough. Eh? Show working, show working. Put your life on this P. Hmm? It's motivation enough. Well, that being said, Portable was recently robbed, like mercilessly robbed. Uh, meanwhile, Portable is not currently in Nigeria. So this is my advice. Firstly, before I go start the video and uh, show you some stuff. Portable need to leave eh, his community. Portable need to leave that is community. It's not safe. You need to leave that is community. He said that something, 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 something. He was beaten. He has been threatened. He was stoned. So many things have happened to him. But he still comes out really, really successful out of all situations. That guy need to leave his community. There is a need when someone blow air, you need to leave that particular area and love them from afar. People who made such parables, eh, they have lived this life before. They have seen a lot of different uh, stories about staying in the community that you are that you blown. Staying in the same community. Where you were poor, the poor environment, and you are now blown, and you are still living in that community. If you don't have enough money to turn the whole community around, live there. If you are a multi billionaire, you can decide to buy the whole community and rebuild it to your standard, to the standard of world class. But if you do not live there, if you do not have the money to change everybody's life in that community, I repeat, oh, if you are blown and you do not have enough money to change everybody's life in that community, the money you have is just for your family and give out few to the people. Leave that community, except if you have money enough to feed everybody in that community, then maybe you will have peace. Portable was robbed, the studio was ransacked, bubbled, if I may use that word, bubbled and uh, Boggled, robbed, scattered, <laughs> turned upside down, everything destroyed. P.S. stolen, according to his wife, oh. P.S. stolen, and so many other stuff as well. That's the video, guys, I'm showing you. So many other stuff as well. And meanwhile, Portable is not currently in Nigeria. It's currently in UK, still enjoying the benefit from uh, Skepta. You know, Skepta has really been. A life changer for portable. He's enjoying himself over there. And uh, he actually responded to this uh, new incident. So let's listen to him, guys. Every today they won't achieve me. You don't tell me that they come to that studio, they won't bust my studio, bust everywhere, but thank God. Wako Azu King Gonin Gamma Lon or my Lodio 
Na truth na ozo. Na na da person property no come dey shine your face so. <laughs> shine shine baba. <laughs> you see hungry one kill una. Na hungry one kill them. Na evil people. Na go say make I help them. Na go see the thief my kaya. <laughs> na people we near me o. Eh. Ek ba me ek ba me o. Anti bude. Leave that community. I've said it. If you do not have enough money to turn everybody's life in your community around, if you if you become rich, please leave that community. Just love them from afar. Don't allow them to know your business because if you have small money at all, they will believe that you are rich, that you must help everybody. And they will continue to put your life in danger, rob you and do all sorts of things. Plan for your downfall. Leave that community. Leave it. Well, let's talk about abroad a little bit since uh, Portugal is abroad. This guy was asked a question. Uh, I just want to ask you today's question. The question basically is which one would you be going for a tier two visa option with 40,000 pounds per annum? Yeah. Or you actually get 200,000 pounds, which is around 174 million naira, but yeah. you go back to Nigeria, you can't travel for 10 years only within Africa. So which one would you be going for? I'll go back home. <laughs> I'll, I'll go really? back home. Yeah. Why? I'll go back home because why are we coming here is to make money, go back home and establish business. So if I have the money back, if I have the money in Nigeria or in Africa, I would rather, you know, stay back at home, establish my business. And then, you know, after 10 years, I can always come to the, you know, for vacation and all that. Okay. So I will stay back at home, establish my business because I'm a business person already. Do my business and be okay. It's, it's, it's comfortable back at home. Here, you just, here, if you don't work, you don't, you don't eat. Okay. Yeah. So here, yeah, if you don't if you don't work for a month, you're broke. Okay. Yeah. So I would rather stay at home. All right. You know where I'm comfortable, do my business, and that's it. Home is home. Home is home. Home is home. But nowadays, uh, people with that kind of money, uh, two hundred million pounds now because of the current situation of the uh, pound stroke versus the naira. I think it's about. 200 or something million naira, 200,000 pounds, 200,000 pounds, about 200 or something million naira. So, oh, Miss Omo, but people have more than that eh, and still do not want to stay in Nigeria. They will tell you because of the security challenges, because of uh, the lack of opportunity, because of this and that. You know, everybody just have their own. Huh? Everybody just have their own. Honestly, if I ever want to relocate, I have just one country in my mind. It's Namibia. If I want to relocate out of this Nigeria, say I want to go any other country to stay, it's Namibia. I don't really see myself living in Europe or all those. Honestly, I don't. I don't. I like the country, so I have all respect to them. But I prefer, honestly, I prefer Africa country. Namibia is where I really my heart is. You know, no too much persons. You know, real chill and relax. And do your stuff and everything. I don't like crowd, you know. Now just it. But let me so let me know, guys. If you are giving two hundred million pounds today, will you come back to Nigeria to stay? Two hundred million pounds today, will you come back to Nigeria to stay to live your life for ten years without going back? Let me know, guys. And meanwhile, check out this comparison. So this guy said, the wife of a white billionaire versus the wife of a black billionaire even with money black women always have to sexualize themselves even with money black women always like to sexualize themselves well they both have different profession you know this uh mark's wife is uh yeah it's a housewife basically a housewife who just supports her husband why Jesus' wife is a celebrity, a well-known diva who also supports her husband. You know, they grinded together right from the start. And meanwhile, Mark was already a billionaire when he met his wife. No, am I? Is that true? Yeah. Mark was already a billionaire, like few billions, not as rich as now when he met his wife. So you understand? And meanwhile, someone said, come on, they have two different professions. One is an entertainer and the other one is a tech. So guys, let me know. Does it matter if one is an entertainer and the other one is into tech? Does it matter? 
your wife should be able to dress now accordingly. Well, everybody has preference in this life. That is why all fingers are not equal. What you like is what I do not like. And what I do not like is what you like. That is just how it is. Entertainers, entertainers, and the tech, tech, tech. You know, they have different uh, wants and different needs. So for me, I will go for me ordinarily. I will wife Mark Zogobo's wife and I will date Jesus' wife, Beyonce. So I cannot marry Jesus' wife, honestly, because I want everything of her to be packagedly well covered from my eyes alone. Meanwhile, my girlfriend can decide to go out naked. That's not my garden business.